South Africa accused Israel on Thursday before the International Court of Justice of committing genocide in Gaza and of not punishing its insiders. On Friday, Israel will respond to the accusations that implicated Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The Zionist government has, uh, from the outset, rejected the African nation's accusations. In fact, it accused the government of being the mouthpiece of Hamas. In this sense, this Friday, Netanyahu government will have to answer for its crimes in Gaza before the highest court of the United Nations. Until now, Tel Aviv had dismissed the trials in international courts. On Thursday, the first hearing on the case brought against Israel before the International Court of Justice, it had concluded following the loss of file by South Africa. Over the next two days, Tel Aviv will respond to the accusations of genocide for the first time based on an 84-page document delivered last December 29 with numerous proof and evidence of the crimes committed. The International Court of Justice, also known as the World Court, it is the highest legal entity of the United Nations, founded in 1945 to address conflicts between states. Among the international treaty designed is a Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime for Genocide, the first human rights treaty adopted by the UN on December 9, 1948, one day before the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. South Africa claims is based on this convention as both the African nation and Israel are signatories to the treaty. On Friday, Netherlands Health Workers March in the